One more hour left for me to stall. <laughs> so I can actually get the background that I want on Steam. Uh, good grief. Oh hey, I just realized Nanachi's there. Huh. Oh boy, it's going to load ag for a long time. Is again, isn't it? I'm aware. Continue. Wait, I'm a level 5 Red Whistle. Does that mean it works like any other game? I just realized that. Oh my god. And during the time I wait, I'm just gonna check Discord and all that. And some other stuff, I guess. Like, I now realize why the game loads so much. It's because of my... Of the device where I, where I saved it. <clears throat> hey! Hey, Robot Boy! You still don't remember your name? Yeah. I searched all over my body, but couldn't find anything like a name. It's inconvenient to not have a name, so can I name you? Oh dear. How about Reg? Oh yeah, the dog. Reg? Do you like it? Yeah. If I had to say yes or no, then yeah, I do. Then, you are Reg from now on. Sure, call me Reg. Where did the name come from? That's yeah, dog. The name of a dog I used to have. D yep. A dog? Irredeemable. Yep. So, what are we gonna do now? This guy, I mean Reg, is a relic, right? How long are you gonna hide him? Forever! I'll keep him hidden in my room! That should work, right? Nope. Highly unlikely. They found out about the dog you had. Being treated like a dog, as I expected. <laughs> <laughs> now everything. <coughs> May I have a moment, please? There's something about him I'd like to discuss with you. Uh, what was it again? Did some thorough research through the compilation of recorded relics. Oh, okay, right. Recorded relics? It's got all the major relics that have been unearthed. It's basically an illustrated field guide. Relics have grades to them. They are recorded and sorted by their values. Okay, I get it now. Grade 4 relics are regarded as insignificant, or are of uncertain use. Also, they are incapable of replacing existing tools. Okay, I hate how their mouths... Grade 3 relics are extremely valuable and useful. They can help with cave raiding. I... Grade 2 relics introduce entirely new concepts and can change people's way of life. In addition, they are very... Okay, I hate the lip sync. Oh yeah, the box. These are the ones that can change the balance of power between countries. Objects that are extremely useful in cave raiding in the deeper levels. And then, the most amazing of all, special grade relics. Special grade relics have the potential to grant the power to change many countries. Or the world. <sighs> Did you not brief at all? That is correct. This is the case in the latest style of sorting. Hey, Reg! The special great relic, the unheard bell, was discovered by my mom! Rico's mom was the legendary white whistle called Liza the Annihilator. Yes. What a scary name. Wonder what she did. My mom is who I aspire to be. <clears throat> Shiggy, let's go back to Reg. It'll take forever if Rico starts that story. Come on. I don't have the time for that. <laughs> Sorry, Rico. So, I searched everywhere, but even looking through all the grade 2, grade 1, and special grade relics, I didn't see any relics like Reg. Yeah. Reg's features are not listed on the relic record. 
And supposing they were, they'd be classified above even grade one. His body seems to be a bundle of special grade relics. He might even be one of the most valuable finds in the history of the Abyss. Maybe not. A so-called Obod. A supreme treasure of the netherworld. That's super awesome! Not even my mother ever found one of those! That means... We helped ourselves to a supreme treasure of the netherworld. Uh, what if we just announce our find now? Most likely, they'll take him from us immediately and conceal his existence as a supreme treasure of the netherworld. They'll probably even dismantle him piece by piece. Really? Don't. We're in a really bad situation. What shall we do? Hmm. Let's just have Leader meet Reg as a human. Seriously, Shiggy? Ugh. Will this plan work that smoothly? Turns out my worries were unfounded. The Leader, Jidowo, was suspicious, but in the end accepted me. And thus, I became a student at Belchero Orphanage, and set my sights on becoming a cave raider. Okay... What do I do? What do I... Do I move? Oh yeah, I need to... Oh, come on! Hmm? It's you! Great timing. There's something I want to ask you to do. Oh? Uh, Mantoyas. Take as much time as you need. In exchange, don't overdo it. If you do something again, I'll make you write five essays. But I already finished one. Oh, I need to finish both. Got it. I'm gonna check the shop because I have no clue. Maybe I should sell first. I will. Oh god. Let's see, where do I need to go? Oh yeah, the game needs to load in all the beautiful graphics and textures. Nope, these are not the things I need to kill, sadly. I don't even know what I need to kill exactly. Uh, 
But I do know I'm taking as much as I can with me. Right, uh, I can fix that. Perfect, now I got enough energy again. Okay, that was dumb. already finished, right? Oh, well, that was easy. going to be annoying. Uh, you know what? Screw this. I did not know that was an achievement. Oh, much better. Bob, to do it once more.
Oh, I ran out of stamina. Whoops. completed the mission. Let me get you the reward. Yay. <coughs> Before I knew it, two months had passed. Oh. It was surprising how easily I became accustomed to it all. Hmm. Oh, there you are, Reg. We're gonna go to the Grand Pier together. <laughs> I don't mind, but you'll know when you get there. Oh, right. Oh, I hate this. And I know this is like a tutorial or something like that. So this is the Grand Pier. I suppose it's a fine mechanical bridge pier. But it sure looks skinny and unstable stretched out above this huge pit. There are so many people You'd be surprised. Here. Obviously. I mean, Uncle Hubba's squad just got back. It's their triumphant return. Uncle Hubbo? The man who lives with Auntie. Ah, from the spice shop. He must be Laffy's husband. Hubbo and his team went all the way to the inverted forest. Oh, yeah. I'm oh. going to ask him just how upside down it really is. The second layer. It's Uncle Hobo! Uncle Hobo! Oh, Rico! I just got back. Hey, Uncle Hobo! Did you bring any amazing relics back? I sure did. Though it's not really a relic. Rico, it has something to do with you. Oh. Huh? Right. Okay. Right. Yes. Look at this. White whistle. This is. It is a white whistle, a sovereign of annihilation. What? It's Liza's. Liza the Annihilator's white whistle. Liza, that's. Yes, my mom's name. After ten years, Liza's soul, her white whistle. Came up to the city of Orc. Oh yeah, she's only That's ten, Rico. Oh, she's traumatized. Sadly not. Is it really okay for me to keep this? Yes, of course. Even if I'm just a red whistle? That's all right. Unlike other whistles, white whistles can only be used by their original owners. Oh, right. Not only does each white whistle have its own unique design, they're all made out of relics. And thanks to the hidden insignia each of them possess, it's impossible to counterfeit. Ah, oh, right. Um, that's not really what I meant. Isn't there someone more worthy of it than me? Like a former member of my mother's squad or something? Don't be shy. It's customary for a relative to be the one to receive a white whistle like this. Everyone's fine with the tradition. If that's too heavy a responsibility to bear, you can always trust it to the guild. Rico? I... I'll take it. Ah, that's a good decision. Besides that, Liza was also carrying a sealed envelope. A sealed envelope? Yes, we received both it and that white whistle from a sentry at a monitoring base called Seeker Camp. Since the envelope belonged to a white whistle, it's currently being closely examined, but you should be able to see it soon, Rico. A sealed envelope from my mom. Are you saying it's a letter? <laughs> I see. I suppose it is. Surely a letter addressed to you, Rico. See you later. 
I'll contact you when you're able to see the sealed envelope. God, this is so long. There you are, Rico. Leader God, is I... looking for you. Okay. Yeah, my microphone is down. on. Good. Whew. Well, I was thinking about my mom a little. <sighs> hey, remember when I said I admire my mom? I was two years old when my mom went on her last dive. Last dive? When a white whistle goes down to the sixth layer. If they do, they can never come back. Wow. So, that's why I barely remember anything about her. You shouldn't Still remember her at all. Knew Liza well? I heard that Leader was Mom's apprentice. Leader? If so, that's perfect. Why don't you take this opportunity to ask about Liza, since he's looking for you? Yeah, let's do it. And once more. This is getting annoying. Another mission. There you are, Rico. What is it? What kind of person was my mother? Despite being one of the white whistles I admire so much, I can't even remember her face. I'm not exactly sad. But I feel like someone I aspired to be just suddenly disappeared. As a cave raider, she was every bit the legendary white whistle people say she was. That said, I hardly even got the chance to go cave raiding with her. I only really know Liza as she was on the surface, arrogant and mischievous. She was a heavy drinker and quick to get in fights. She would take her pranks too far and you could never tell how honest she was being. On top of that, she had a horribly unbalanced diet. If she wasn't a white whistle, she would have just been another weirdo. Uh, sounds like an irredeemable person. Yeah. That is exactly right. Really, she was a total mess. Wow. It's been 12 years already. No, it was a bit longer than that, actually. Liza had just become pregnant with you. But despite her physical state, she had to go down to the fourth layer with a survey team. Huh? But why? Nope, 12. It was a special mission ordered by the country's powers that be. As a white whistle, she had no choice. Oh, right. She was to retrieve the unheard bell, a special grade relic that had been discovered in the depths. Her team's cave raiding proved arduous. It went on for 10 months. They had repeated run ins with foreign cave raiders. The survey team was nearly wiped out. It was at this time your father, a black whistle named Torka, lost his life. And in the midst of it all, you were born. In the abyss. <gasps> Then Rico was born inside the abyss? Yeah. You were born in the depths of the abyss. What? How was I able to come back up from such a deep place? You can thank the curse-repelling vessel that Liza took along with her for that. But to bring you back with the vessel, Liza gave up on the unheard bell. Now, don't make the mistake of thinking she was only doing what any mother would do. You see... Special grade relics can change the balance between countries. Retrieving even one will enrich the city and ensure a squad's future. She was faced with having to make an incredibly difficult decision. And yet, Liza chose you. Prestige and riches. Her comrades and their trust. You were so important to her that she was willing to give up all of that. That's a lie. Mom. But now, in the face of the pressure of having a mother of such stature, you're trying to choose your own path. And thus, the one she risked her life to protect is still going strong to this day. Leader, I'm gonna do my best! Chasing after Ma- After Liza, the White Whistle! 
I received a message from the Cave Raider headquarters. They've given you permission to go view the contents of the envelope from Liza. Go report. Cave Raider headquarters. Got it! Greg, go with her. She's unreliable, so watch her for me. Roger. Oh, we don't get that piece of information. God, I hate this. I've been waiting for you. Now, I'll open the sealed envelope from Liza the Annihilator. I will accompany you, but please, do not touch anything. What is all this? Mother went down there ten years ago. Yet, none of these are in the field guide. I've never even seen any of them before. This is... That looks like me. It is him. But some parts are different here and there. Human-like silhouette. Identity unknown. I encountered it while approaching the seventh layer. For a little while now, it has been intently observing me. Damn idiot. I'm watching you too, you know. It's about the size of a human child, and looks to be dressed in rags. Its limbs and head seem too large for its body. Some kind of armor, perhaps? It didn't give off the impression of being a hollow. However, when I tried calling to it, it ran away. It went up, jumping with a strength that astonished me. To leap so effortlessly at this depth, Maybe it's not human? More importantly, where did it come from? <clears throat> Greg. Rico, beside it there's a piece of paper with only writing on it. It seems kind of short for a letter. Hmm. Let's see here. At the Netherworld's... At the Netherworld's bottom. I'll be waiting. Oh yeah, she's going to steal that as well. Oh, I just got something into my inventory. So what made you steal this note that says at the Netherworld's bottom I'll be waiting. Only thirty more minutes. My mother wrote that letter to me. Of course she did. So it's mine. Nope. Well then what are you planning to do, Rico? I'll head for the bottom of the abyss, where my mom is waiting. Hey now, are you serious? Yes. That's why I want your help. I'm against it. The bottom of the abyss? You talk about it like it's no big deal. But if you go there, you'll never be able to come back. What's this all of a sudden? I've always wanted to be a white whistle. Of course I'm prepared for that. You no, sure? You don't get it, Rico. You'll never be able to see any of us up here ever again, you know? That's right. You won't be able to hang out at Auntie's, have Leader teach you stuff, or play with any of us here again. That's right. Like I said. I hate this. Hey, Nat. Looks like Rico has already made her decision. Pushing her would just hurt her. Mm. Fine. Whatever. But Rico, are you taking Reg with you? You're probably thinking it will be okay because you got Reg, huh? I didn't ask him to come with me at all. What? I... Would it be wrong to hug Greg all to myself? Besides, it's really dangerous for him to go when he still doesn't have his memories. Then, you were planning to leave Reg here? I don't know. Ah, oh, jeez. Hurry up and go see how he feels about it. You know what? I'm gonna save before that.
this is so annoying. 